Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. Um, well, I got busy with lawnmowers and lawnmowers and weed eaters and... Pfft, all that stuff I really don't like to mess with. But uh, in the last video... I brought in a little cutie, a little cutie, Yamaha, three horse, at least I think that's what it is, it, it says three LR or FL or something like that, so I'm thinking it's a three horse, it has neutral and forward, and the reverse is spin at 180, but uh, what I want you to pay attention to in this video, I took this thing in on trade, and uh, I knocked some money off of, a, of an outboard uh, that these fellas needed, a little Tahatsu. And they gave me this in on trade. And I looked it over when they brought it in. <laughs> and I seen it had some tiller handle issues with the throttle and missing a clamp. But the main thing I want you to pay attention through on this one as we go through the video, as you as you watch the progression of this video no magic miracles here just just soap and water uh, and a little little geese little duck butters a little grease on some things some penetrating fluid and stuff but uh, it is just amazing how filthy uh, somebody these guys told me they tried to use this motor but it would rev and then blah 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 and everything and I Gave it a quick glance over and no wonder, dude. Um, but anyway, so as we go through the, the video, pay attention to the as it came in footage to the finished footage. Um, I still got to add a, a transom clamp to it, but, but it's just amazing to me uh, the amount of ugh I found in this motor and on this motor. And, uh, and this motor was still trying to, uh, <laughs> to, to make a last stand. Um, but it also, on the carb, they had bent the butterfly mechanism completely over somehow and then bent the little stop and, boom, put it up under one of the float bolt screws. I don't know how they did it, but they did it. And then looking at the tiller handle, the way it was snapped, literally broke it. They broke the aluminum around it. I'm guessing so. they just, we need more speed, more speed out of this three horse. Kapop! And the thing went under and the aluminum broke. Um, so look at the carnage and the filth. And, uh, and then we'll look at the after video. So let's get started. Doing some preliminary stuff you can probably see the tiller here it's broke and the cable seems to kind of work but something else is froze up on this carb it seems like that there ain't something right there So, look over here, there's a, boy, what, it is messy. Um, yeah. Go ahead and zip off that air box, or I mean, uh, front part right here. Air box on the side, so. Is that part of the... Make some room in here. See how much stuff I can lose. Uh -huh. Now we can get a look at what we're dealing with there a little bit. Can you see? 
all the dirt and the yummy yeah she's dirty and a pretty up under the cowling there pretty dirty in there's grimy well Pepe screws right up front here and some plastic retaining things which I gotta make sure I don't lose because I am the king of lose. Little Phillips screw, little bitty clip. It's a little bitty clip for a little bitty screw. So I got that clip and that screw. It go in the pocket. That screw and that clip, and we'll put it in the pocket. It almost looked like this thing got zoomed in on me, maybe a little. Everything is really roachy, dirty. You see all this in, in there? She's just a dirty little, nasty, nasty little engine. It's just a nasty. Okay, so got that. It goes in the pocket. What else we gotta take off around here? Gotta be some screws somewhere. Something. Yeah. Uh, there. Find it there. Yeah, there they are. So then you gotta turn this thing about half wormper like that. Then you can get up under there and get them two screws. Make sure I'm in the. There's one. Okay. It came off. I dropped the screw. And you see, and you see all that yucky. Oh, oh man. And now I can get at that carbon nail. <laughs> and there's the other carburetor screw right there see all the yummy yuck
Ooh. We little on nasty side. Look at that. Yay. Gas looks like old lime juice or something. Yeah. She's a dirty. Uh oh. There's the nasty carbonator fuel pump set up. Let me move it over here. Alright, so the first thing I think I'm going to do with this guy is cut off the fuel. <laughs> but I'm getting rid of that fuel out of there anyway. It's not like I can smell it a little bit. It's, it's not so it, it's probably old gas mixed with new um, throttle. That throttle may be salvageable, I'm not sure. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. I'll have to get it apart and see. But I'm going to go ahead and get that gas tank off of there. And. Uh, And then we'll give her a we'll go to the bath. the hose, missing the hose clamp. So that closes my fuel through there. Hmm. Well, I think that's how I'm going to do it. Shut the valve on top of the vent. Good and tight. Put the rag, a paper towel rag, right down there. Pry that off with a screwdriver and flip it upside down as fast as I can. Do not screw it off. We have a plan. Oh yeah, she's coming right off. So it's going to be top flip. Ready? Pop flip. I dropped my screw. Gas. Yeah. So we just set this gas tank right over here. Right over there. I dropped one of my other screws in my bucket here. Don't see it. So that, that'll tell me what size. Um Come here, you. Now, I'll drain some more of that gas. I can still see it in my pipe by opening the vent. And there it goes into my rag. Okay. So you can see all the yuck in there. It looks like it's been stored in a woodshed. Um, just pathetic. So I'm going to plug that intake with a nice greased up cloth. And I'm going to get me my little cleaning brushes and stuff. And we're going to get to washing. Yes, we are. So let me get set up for 
get my soap and brushes together and we'll give this thing a bath. I'll be right back. All right, so we got, I squirted uh, a little purple power on there. And, uh, purple power, 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 power. All that crap down in there. Look at, look at that. Look at the, the abuse. We got abuse everywhere. Some around that everywhere, some around that everywhere. All right. Then I just give it a little mist of the water. Just a little mist. Oh, that's not a mist. How do I do a mist? That's not a mist either. I guess that's close enough. Just a, a real quick one of them. So you don't wash off all your soap. And you get a good slather going. Yes, slather. Is that a word? Is slather a word? Oh, Ma, you've got to slather it up, you know. Okay. Oh, look at that. Looks like a little soap tray. How about that? Oh, see, that's a slather. See, that's an official slather. You see that? That, that is official slather. See, you ain't monkeying around when you do that. That's slather. Now with this purple power, once you get your slather up good, you uh, you want to just let it sit for a little bit. I still got to do the other side. So, I ain't going to sit here waste camera batteries making you guys watch me slather up an outboard. I'm going to flip it over to the other side, let it sit for about, oh, seven, eight minutes, and then we'll rinse it off. I'll be back then. Um, so, I don't know if you can see it, but right down in there is a little 10 millimeter nut right up under the cable there. And that holds a little retainer. So I've got to get that little 10 millimeter nut out of there. And I already took a pick, like, mm -hmm. and dug the cable out. So, I can pull that out of my way probably now. Like, so, and then you take your 10 millimeter, this guy, and I start trying to get that 10 millimeter nut out of there, which you ain't got a lot of room to work with, and a lot of times, oh, this one ain't too bad. A lot of times they're so salty they won't come out. Um, once I get the retainer loose, I can spin it a half twist sometimes if it's not too salty. It's not ready yet. So I'm getting about a half a flat at a time here. And that's all. But after I get that nut out, I'll show you. Show you, or we'll see if we can get the uh, shifter, it, the tiller handle out. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got the nut out of there. It went in that hole right there. Actually, if I move this down. It went in that hole right there. Little 10 millimeter nut. There's a nut hole right there. So you get about a half flat at a time to get that out. Then, you take a screwdriver and a tap it. See that little tip? There you go. You pop that, and there's your retainer for your cable. Out the way, and there should be, I think there's some shims too, or can be. So much yuck in there yet, I can't tell. But 
And let me see. That's a spring washer right there. That screwdriver blade's too fat. Well, it was a spring washer. <laughs> it just popped. I don't think. Riddle everything. Whoa. Do, 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 do. Oh, shoot. It's got a little keeper thing there. I don't know if I can get this. Of course, it's always at the bottom. Broken to there, I can't even tell. No, that's just a plastic deal, if I remember right. She just tight, just tight. Yeah, that's just a plastic bushing. Look at all that mess. Look at that. See that? I don't know why my, my tiller arm's so tight. I don't know. I don't know. My tiller arm seems tight. Jesus criminy. The amount of salt. Yes, hordes of it. And that's the stop there, so. We need to get the cable out now. There's a slot you push up, then you twist, and off it comes. And there are still some good parts on this. These plastic little kinetic wheels here, or whatever you want to call them, they break all the time. And uh, so. I'll hang on to this for that, the rod itself. And now that we got that off, I'll go to my bone pile, because you know me and my motto, save those parts. Um, do my purple power. I need power. Do the purple power now. Then I'm going to show you guys another thing I do. Some people had some questions to me. And I will answer those questions. At least this one I'm going to show you. And I'm going to run get that tiller handle. I'll be right back. All right. Now you see those jury jugs right over there, jerry cans, jugs, gas jugs, yeah, them ones right there. Now, in a video or two ago, I was working on a 115 Johnson, I had to empty the fuel tanks on it and everything, and I get a lot of old outboards in here with built-in tanks and the, just like this little Yamaha has a some old gas. And people say, what are you gonna do with all that old gas? I show you. I show you. Now what I do with all that old gas. There's some old gas. Now, 
here's this old nasty tiller caked up all over the place bucked up half broke remember my little plastic shroud in goes that one and out comes this one See, it's not broke. It's still kind of tight, but I went out last night and put this, I took some of the gas out of the jerry jug, poured a jerry jug in a bucket. Last night I went out and dug this out of my bone pile and it was really stiff. And so I'll loosen those screws now. Hopefully I can get them out with my van pliers. Clean this all up. And there'll be my new tiller handle. That's what I do with old gas. So, there she is without a tiller. I cleaned it up a little bit. We're going to wrench that hole out. We'll get some geese in there. Geese, ducks, geese and ducks, as in duck butter. You understand? I'm going to let this sit here and dry for a bit. I'll be right back. Yummy. Oh my, stay tuned for part two with your host, Cody Bass.